Hello you all, I'm Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we are going to talk about the spiritual importance of fire. I am eventually going to go over all four elements and the spiritual importance that they obtain, but today I wanted to focus on fire since it plays such a vital role within the spiritual community and practices, whether we're burning a candle, burning some herbs, we just did some shadow work and we about to burn up that paper, a fire ceremony, fire has just played such a vital role since it was first discovered so I thought in order to understand fully the ritual spell works manifestations that we are doing it's important to understand every element that goes into that work so today we are going to talk about one of the many elements that go into spiritual work which is fire so taking it all the way back from the moment that fire was first discovered it opened up a lot of new opportunities for the individuals at the time they were able to cook they were able to transform objects from solids to liquids. They were able to get warmth. Fire just really changed the way of living and it has also changed the way of spirituality as well. The representation of fire in our life isn't like a literal flame, but it's the drastic changes that we go through in life that are considered fire moments. So this could be anything from losing a loved one to doing the big chop on your hair, buying a new house, so you're moving into a new location, you just got a new job off or you started your business any moment in our life that will transform the way we see our perspective the way we talk the way we walk those monumental moments in life so if you're younger this could be graduating from high school you're no longer in school you're more independent now graduated from college you're moving on to that real life adulthood workforce moving out of your parents house where it's like oh lord I gotta pay my own bills or breaking up with a spouse and now you're on your own this is a different environment than what you're used to all of those moments that we can think of where our perspectives and our life truly change, those are all moments of fire. These are considered fire moments because going back into the alchemy perspective, they consider fire the most important element just because it is constantly changing and we as well are constantly changing. And something else to know with fire, just as much as just as much as it has the capability to destroy it has the capability to create as well because it's constantly an even exchange for example if you are burning a candle it's burning through the wax it's destroying the wax it's removing the wax but while it's doing that it's providing you light it's providing you heat it's providing you warmth you may be doing a manifestation so it's working for you as well so it's constantly an even exchange the same thing if you're barbecuing the fire may be burning through the little wood pecks or coils or whatever but while it's doing that it's providing heat so you can cook so it's constantly an even exchange and this goes to the changes that we have in life as well if we lose a loved one yes that person is no longer here they are done it's been destroyed within the fire perspective but we may become stronger after that we may become more independent we may have a new perspective on life a lot of cultures use a lot of fire ceremonies for cleansings and for fresh starts and speaking of fresh starts and fires this is also why on January 1st on New Year's it is associated with fireworks just because fire in general represents a new beginning rejuvenation a fresh start a new year and of course by now you guys know that the Orisha associated with fire is that's right, Shango. And of course, with Shango, you think of confidence, you think of power, you think of love, you think of passion. I'll link that video down below explaining more of him as well. And that'll also help you with understanding fire as an elemental source. Fire can also play the role as a storyteller. There are some people who are able to read the flames of fire. When you burn a candle, the way it moves, the way it dances, they are able to look at it and interpret what's going on within that ritual or spell work. And and you can also tell about fire once it is gone what it has left behind in order to fully understand what else you need to know about the ritual or spell work that you have done from the burnt marks that is left from the smoke marks that is left it also provides information in the spiritual world as well let's go over to numerical when it comes to fire it is represented by the number 11 I'll link that video down below as well and that is due to basically how the number 11 looks and what it represents the illumination you guys know fire is able to illuminate
illuminate, create shadows, create reflections. That's the same thing with the master number of 11 as well. And with it being a master number, you guys know it is two number ones. And number one is representation and symbolic of spiritual truth. So just how I said it's able to still tell stories, provide information, provide clarity. That's why it is correlated to the number 11. Now let's move over to everybody's favorite standpoint, favorite perspective, zodiacs. Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius are all fire signs. And even though these are different zodiacs, they all have some things in common no matter what they do. They're going to have high energy. They're going to be very loyal. They're going to be very passionate. No matter what they do, they're going to exude and bring in a lot of energy and a lot of power and just a lot of strength. And no matter what they are doing, no matter how simple or how extravagant it is, they're very passionate, strong, loving. You could feel their energy type of people. So we all have a fire burning within us, our internal fire, which is eternal, our divine fire, which is a mixture of our passion, our love, our creativity, our energy, our fire and desire. Everything that we find love, passion, and happiness from feeds our fire. But just how fire, like I said before, can be destructive in a creation as well. We have to make sure that we set boundaries with our fire because if not, it can get out of control and we can get burnt out. Get it? Like when you get burnt out, that means you've been doing too much. So you're tired, you're exhausted. So you set boundaries with the fire. Okay. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video on fire. We now know that fire can be destructive. It can be creative. It can be rejuvenation. It can be a cleansing source. And that's why it plays so many roles within the spiritual world, whether we're burning candles, whether we're burning our petition, where the things that we want to no longer do, whatever you are using fire for, I hope this video helped you understand understand the importance of it and the role that it is playing beyond what we see but like I always say as above so below as within so without as the universe so the soul until next time you guys I shave baby